Hey folks, how are you guys doing? Hope you're all having a great Tuesday as usual. A uh, little change of scenery here. I wanted to show you guys some stuff. First off is the clock that I made in Wisconsin. Um, this is a spalted maple clock, or well, the spalted maple back and then bird's eye maple with walnut splines. I uh, made this in Wisconsin when I was uh, visiting Nick Ferry with April Wilkerson. <laughs> And uh, that, that whole trip was just, it was just, it was just so much fun. Uh, but anyway, this is the clock that I came up with. And it uh, turned, right turned out all right for a completely off-the-cuff kind of just make something project. Because that's totally not my style of making stuff. I, I like to be planned, uh, have everything planned out and, and a nice order of operations, I guess you could say, of, of what I'm going to do. And this was just... Kind of off the wall. There's a couple times where I was just literally standing there staring and thinking. So I'm cool at, uh, cool at the way that it turned out. I know it's not uh, everyone's style. It's not even really my style of what I normally make. Um, one of the comments was it looked like an ashtray nailed to a tree, <laughs> which I think is great. I think it's so funny. It's um, not everyone's supposed to like everything. Uh, my wife thinks it's ugly too. Uh, so I, I just thought that was really funny, that comment. Um, and, you know, comments like that, you can't get mad about because it's just someone's opinion, and that's that's all there is to it. I respect someone else's. I don't know if the birds are going to pick up, but I've got some birds going crazy outside. Um, yeah, outside. It's, it's, it's so great a weather right now. Um, we have horrible summers. It's so hot to where our springs and falls are just fantastic. It's in the middle 80s. Low humidity, which is crazy for this time of the year. So the garage door has been open all day. The air conditioner hasn't been on in four or five days. Um, but anyway, back to the clock. It was a lot of fun. If you haven't already seen Nick and April's video, be sure to search YouTube. I'll put links down below uh, to their videos. So that was a lot of fun. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I, I like it. It's different. It doesn't match anything in our house. My wife thinks it's hideous, which is fine. <laughs> like I said. Um... So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe do a giveaway or raffle or something like that in the future. We'll see. Uh, there might be, and I don't want to go any further than that, there might be something in the works for June time as far as like a creator meetup kind of thing. So maybe I can save it for that and auction it off or something like that. All right, so after that, last week, uh, my neighbor brought this plane over, which was full of rust. I'll show you a before picture. I think I've got a before picture or slight video. I'll post it if I if I have it. But this is a Stanley Bedrock number 608. And uh, I removed all the rust, sharpened the blade, and did, did a lot of research on it. And assuming that it's 100% original, assuming that it's all original and not replacement parts, it's from 1912 or 1913. So that was cool. He came by earlier today and I showed it to him. And uh, he was quite pleased with it. This is, um, this has got some type of, uh, significance to him, a personal significance to him because his, a relative of his helped build a church he grew up going to with this. So it, it's, it's his, it's not mine. Uh, but anyway, it's got a lot of personal value to him. Well, then he brought back two more planes. This is a Stanley Bailey number seven, and it's, pretty bad. It's got a corrugated bottom as well, and I think the pitting is going to be uh, really bad on this once I get a hold of removing the rust. But I'm going to clean this guy up, and then he also brought over a, this is a Stanley Handyman, a little bit newer, also made in the USA, but it's um, it's got some parts that are broken on it. The adjustment lever is completely broke off on the inside, so it's, uh, it's completely useless. And... Um, I think it's put together wrong. What? I think there's... I haven't messed with this yet, but I think there's a... Oh, wow, that was sitting... The the screw that attaches the lever cap and plate and, and iron wasn't properly seated, and it was all... Oh, wow. Anyway, I'll mess with the, both of these this week. But uh, while he was here bringing these back for the second time. He also asked me to trim up a couple pieces of um, uh, 
uh, of wood for him, he cut them about a sixteenth of an inch too long. And he's got a handheld saw miter box, not electric. And anyone who uses a handsaw knows it's extremely difficult to shave off just a little bit. Well, I showed him my shooting board that I made uh, for my low angle jack plane. And he thought it was really cool and that would have solved his problems. So this is his plane. It's going back to him, obviously. Um, well, all three of these are. But I'm, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about this week making a shooting board for this big old monster, which it'll be a big shooting board. But um, I think it might be pretty cool, and uh, give it give it to him for this plane. So that might be this week's project. Um, other than that, I don't really have much planned for the next week or two. Uh, I did shoot some stuff with Tyler G when I was in Michigan and. That might be a video. I've also got to redo my lathe cart. Not necessarily redo it, but when I made it, I just didn't know how I was going to use it. Well, after having it for four or five months, however long it's been, uh, I do know that there are a couple changes that I want to make. I want to add some drawers. I want to move the tools onto the wall, and I want to put my grinder where the bed extension and tools are currently. So that might be a project video. But anyway, I'm going to get started tearing this guy apart, the... Uh, the number seven, put this guy to the side for a while. And I'm gonna have some fun doing that for a little bit. You guys take care and I'll talk to you um, Sunday.